Steve Large, he's live here in downtown Sacramento with more for us on this big day for all of us. Steve? On the other side of the arena, I'm in the L Street side. And, uh, you're sitting uh, right in front of those big hangar doors. It'll be opening up at 6.30, as you mentioned. But these doors, the VIP doors, they're going to be opening up any moment. Let's go ahead and walk down and show you the line. These are the VIP folks who not only paid for front row seats to see Paul McCartney tonight, they also get to have a meal with him, of course, a vegetarian meal, and they get a couple other perks that come along with it. I was able to look a little preview of the line, and this is Beverly, who has a sign-up that she made. She's hoping Paul McCartney will see it. Uh, her mom is 90 years old, and her mom says it's okay for Paul McCartney to autograph her arm. And Beverly, what are you going to do with the autograph you get on your arm from Paul McCartney? He autographs you right here, and I'm going to go tomorrow morning and get a tattoo. She is going to get a tattoo with Paul McCartney's autograph on her arm. Okay, we'll see if she can get his attention. She is a VIP. Those tickets are very expensive, $2,000 plus. All right, let's take you to some video. Uh, for the folks that are still waiting to get in at 6.30, I ran into this set of, uh, well, they're not triplets, but they look like it. They are sisters, and uh, they are going to see Paul McCartney for the very first time together tonight. I had a chance to talk to the three of them as they amp up and get ready for the big event. And we've been Beatle fans all of our life. I was 13 when they first came out. We watched them on Ed Sullivan. I saw it and I said, you guys, we're going to go. we got to do it now. And I got right on and got our tickets. So. We love Paul. We've always wanted to see him. And we, we love Paul. <laughs> and we, re we like all of his music, but we really love the early, early when they days. started out. Linda, Sandy, and Judy all wearing matching clothes and shoes getting ready for the big event. Uh, about 30 tickets, last I checked at the box office, available for tonight. Paul McCartney also performing tomorrow. 200 tickets, I'm told, are left for that one. And they have, in fact, opened up the doors. So we can call this breaking news. <laughs> Golden One Center open for business right now. There's a familiar face, John Kabatek. How did you get a VIP ticket? Uh, somebody gave that to a you. A good friend helped me out. All right, there you go. You can kind of get the feeling. People are excited, as you would expect, for this moment. No doubt. So are they open up the doors early then, Steve? Are you uh, getting the scoop on that, or did you just kind of jimmy the lock? <laughs> well, well, I mean, me and you, not for me and you. Not for oh. me and you. These are the VIPs. Only the VIPs. These are the VIPs. Only the VIPs. They get in, they get in the doors open for them at 4 o'clock, and then... They get to be part of the sound check and whatnot, have a meal, uh, you know, all the VIP kind of things that we're not used to. Yes, <laughs> friends in high places. Yes. Uh, Steve Banks, you always find the perfect people to interview and talk to, excited people. Mm -hmm. Concert starts at 8 o'clock.